2019 Women's Empowerment. Hey, I'm your girl, Mir. I am K975 Carolina Waves Radio. I have just been joined by the lovely, beautiful, talented, multi-instrumentalist, Grammy-nominated, Patterson, New Jersey born. Wait, 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 let me, let me, because you're now. I'm awesome. Bless. Welcome to Raleigh. Now, I know Thank you got some you. Charlotte roots, but have I you ever do. been out this way? I've been to Raleigh once. I feel like it was on a field trip in elementary school. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's, that's, about, that's about as much as I know about Raleigh, that's but I'm definitely it. a Charlotte native and a Charleston native, so okay. I'm a Carolina girl at heart. Okay. Like the whole, both Carolinas. That's definitely what's up. We're so excited to have you for Women's Empowerment. Thank you for having me. Autumn Joy is the very first introduction to your music. She's been like your number one champion. So she's she she like, yeah, girl, that was me <laughs> in the back. She's like, that's me. Cut that's to Autumn. Me. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you've been making music for a little minute. And you've, I, I mean, fool, since you were, what, 15? And yeah. you got signed. You went to that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Then you started writing. So just kind of tell us about your journey from 15 till now, an adult. Love Ooh, train, everything. Yes, yes a girl. Lot. It's a lot compact in the lot. Many years. <laughs> Let's see. Um, written, well, I, I started off as an artist. I took a little time off to take care of my mom for a second. And when I came back to Atlanta, I was like, okay, I don't have the label and the team I used to have anymore, so how am I going to redo this? Like, mm -hmm. how am I going to get back into the scene? And then right. I just started writing in all the studios, I was all over Atlanta, and then, like, the thing is, if you stay consistent, if you're giving out good quality product, then everybody's going to start talking about you, and right, that's right. literally what happened. It was like, oh, Asia Bryan came in, she did this dope record, you got to work with her, and it just started circulating like that, and I was going by Asia Bryant, because mm -hmm. when I had songs on the radio, they butchered my name so bad. Oh, they're still butchering it. They still mm -hmm. do. They still do. Who was Asante? <laughs> I ain't got no keys in my name. I will have to say somebody on my station called you Asian the other day. Don't do but, that. Um, don't you know, do we that. Gonna, we gonna get them we're going to get them together. We're going to get them together tonight. I have to make sure that I pronounced it right. So before like, you know, before I started announcing it already, I was mm -hmm. like, okay, let me go hear how she pronounces it mm -hmm. so I can make sure I don't butcher it. You got it, though. You, you hear <laughs> You did it. You said it right. It was all clean. You didn't second guess it. I could tell you practiced. I, I was practicing. You know what I, I mean? Was that was bomb. Thank you, girl. So, yeah, <laughs> after after that, my first placement was a girl named AI on Def Jam Japan. After mm. her was Miley Cyrus. Okay. And then they just started to, like... I mean, that's pretty pretty dope. Why? You know, the way you roll that up. <laughs> You know, Miley Cyrus, well, you know, you know, you know work with J-Lo, J-Lo, Dr. Dre, Drake, um, a, a slew of names. So working with Dr. Dre, uh, everybody always talks about how crazy his process is. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from that experience? I just learned to be um, really meticulous in what I'm putting out as an artist and, you know, making sure that I go back and double check and make sure I'm saying exactly what I want to say and mm -hmm. you're getting the feeling that I want to portray and that's, I love his work ethic and that it made me definitely hone in on my project when it was time for me to put my own stuff up. So, Love Train. Love Train. One, two. Love Train one and two. You took us through the journey of the relationship. We're going through the journey. It's, it's, it's done. We on a ride. I don't know. So, oh, I don't don't tell, tell me you went back. No, I mean, wait, to, wait a minute. Wait, wait back to what? What, the what are you referring to? <laughs> That you're talking about when you laugh. What, so you wait, okay, you. okay. So okay. listen. So at the end of Love Train, uh -huh. we gave the person a second chance. Right. At the beginning, right, of, exactly. at the beginning of Love Train, we went together. It right. was like you messed up. I'm done with this. Right. You got me bent. And then at the Same end, we're gonna let them leave because you know, as boss women, right. We like to control things, That's and we were true. like, you know what? We're That's gonna true. let you take it. To Apparently, we got the L because of me, because I'm running the show. We don't let you run it. And we let them run it, and they still messed it up. They mm. fumbled it. Mm. Fumbled the play. Fumbled it. So, by truth, we come to the realization, it's like, okay, you know what? I'll always love you, but this will never right. work. You have to get to that point. And we got to gotta let it go. Right, right. And we had to let that go. We had to let that energy go let and go. move on. And then by, what, Nola next? Because we were mad still, mm -hmm. salty. There was no love in L.A. Everything in the city looked ugly. Right. And then we got lost in London. Because, right, like, right. who wants to be in L.A. now? Let me just go and bounce. Right. Let me just go. And then, you know, you got swept up in someone else. Okay. And then you get, by the end of Love Train 2, you're optimistic about love again. And you want to be in love again. You uh -huh. want to be in a relationship. But that's not with that person. It's with somebody else. Okay. Okay. So just just making sure we had to, we we had to clear on. that up. <laughs> we moved on. Right. Now we'll just see what happens after we move on. Like, what okay. happens? Does that work out? Yeah, we don't know. Do you we gotta, have you gotta let me know. Do we have extra issues after that? Like, now I we got to... Mm, you you got a part three that you might be working on? You know. Like, how you feeling? 
I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> But I do know that we'll be probably dropping an acoustic version Ooh. of the project. Well, actually, it might be like a collection of Love Train and Love Train 2. Mm. Acoustic, give you like a little, you know. Okay. That might I be lit. It. I love it. Now, speaking of acoustic and performing, mm -hmm. tell us about what you got planned for us today for What Is Divine. Well, I, you know what? <clears throat> I didn't know it was going to be family friendly. So, like, you know. Listen, I had we had K. Michelle a few years ago, and she just blew all the, all the rules off. So, I mean, it oh, is what it is. I mean, but, you know, I'm trying to be a gentle lady and not be cursing in front of people's kids. So I just, you know, I'm going to do a little NOLA. Okay. I might do a little X Factor mashup okay. on that thing. Oh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 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 And then I'm going to do Like You, of course, <laughs> because, you know, that's ripping all over the radio, doing amazing things. Yes. And, you know, that's that's my time. You know, I got to go. You know, they gave me a little bit of time. Right, right. I mean, but it's enough. They, they it's gonna enough. love you. They're going to love you. It's going to be enough. I saw some stuff, and I was like, she's definitely talented. She has the voice. Mm. She has a personality. Thank you. So I want to ask you about the fact that, you are LGBT, mm -hmm. and you're very vocal about it in your music. Correct. And, the, you know, there have been LGBT singers, but they kind of come out later in their career. Mm -hmm. After they're established, you came out with it just like from the get. Because why I got to lie? Right, right. You ain't got to lie, Craig. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not lying for nobody. I'm right. not going to change up who I am for anybody. Uh -huh. You're going to get all this work, come and you're going to like it or you don't. And right. if you don't like it. You know, many blessings to you. I wish you love and light. And to everyone else, hey. Yeah. Right? Simple. Have you felt any differences or, like, any challenges with being so upfront about your sexuality and your music? Or have people, mm. you know, pretty much embraced you? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's challenges. There are challenges or have been, but I don't care. Mm. So no, I feel right. like when you just don't give that energy to care mm. about stuff that doesn't really affect you, it's just the opinion of a, someone else, it's mm -hmm. like... What? Yeah, that's it. Like I, I don't care. So if you, if you, if you feel a way about it, then you know. Again, I wish you love and light. Mm -hmm. That just means my music isn't for you. But right. there's a massive audience whose music, whose people who loves my music. You know what I mean? And then it's not even just about LGBTQ. I'm just talking about love in general. Right, right. I'm talking and about heartbreak. I'm talking amazing. about pain. I'm talking about realizing that you love somebody else more than you love yourself something you don't even want to talk about in real mm. life and something that yeah. nobody talks about in songs yeah. so I feel like because I'm coming from a place of real feeling and actual like realness I've been through this people don't even listen to they don't even catch on to it being LGBTQ until like a few listens in they're right. like wait a right. minute did she say did she, she say oh, she said she okay whatever she said she Let's keep it going <laughs> and she said she had a girl so does that mean right that, right you know they don't even catch it. it and that's the dope part about it like when it's just really good music music is universal it transcends any line any border cutter color orientation all of that stuff so that's so true that's and that. I really love your music because I feel like with the you talking about relationships and love so mm -hmm. much and the and the good and the bad, the ugly in between, the indifferent, mm -hmm. you know, putting more energy in somebody versus yourself. Right. Like I feel like that's missing. It you know promotes self healing and that's what I want. Like I want I love that when people listen to my project they can either learn something about themselves, like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm in this moment right now and I didn't even realize that I felt this way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like with my project, what I want to do is promote more healing, so everybody can be more loving towards each yeah. other. And yeah, we gotta get we gotta get through the sticky parts. You gotta feel that pain. You gotta realize, oh dang, I still love you, huh? You did me dirty, but dang, yeah, crap. Right. You know, like we gotta go through that, and yeah. you gotta get through it. You gotta give it all you got, so you can let it go when it's time to let it go. And then there you have it. So love train and love train too, the journey. I love it. Now, for people who are just getting introduced to you and your music, um, tell everybody where they can follow you, where they can go get it. They can run up them views on Come the on, videos. Run up the views. Run up, them run up the streams. You know, you know download <laughs> Apple Music, Title, Spotify, Spotify, Google, Google Play, 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 Black Planet, Amazon Music. Of one what? Black Planet. You get your page up. Yeah. That's, that's still. I know. You know, Salon's brought it I back didn't, for like you know a day. I and didn't. Then it, but but she I brought it back for. Else about it. She brought it back <laughs> for a day, and I thought it was just like, oh, we get it for a day, and it's like, yeah. And then it's gone. Like no, you gotta, I thought you it. Go. I thought it, she played us so a little bit. I, I was like, so. okay, well, let me go. I'm Solange, my apologies, girl. I thought it was gone. <laughs> so now that she let me know, I will go secure my name. No, I really don't know if it's back. See, I'll now be, you, now you just talking. playing with me, making me look like I. See, I, I, that's not what happened. We gonna make sure you get your black. She played too much. I'm gonna get mine up. She too, played so. all day. Autumn got hers good. up. All of you got a black planet. <laughs> okay, well, I need to get my black planet. I'm, I'm slipping on my pimp and let me get my black planet popping, you know, and it's going to be lit. 
so real quick, tell us um, what else we can look forward to you for 2019 into 2020. Of course, like I said, an acoustic version of the project. Um, also, uh, my own tour. Mm. Yes. Yes, come do tour. <laughs> hey. hey. Won't he do it? Won't he will. Okay. <laughs> um, my own tour. Looking forward to that. Um, probably a few more surprises that I can't really speak on mm. right this second. Okay. Maybe a few remixes to like Tell you. Me off camera. Maybe no. You just lied Maybe. to me about Black Planet. I don't even but know if I lie. Like we'll have to rebuild our trust, and then you can tell me. Well, we will. We'll try <laughs> to rebuild it. We'll see what happens. It's rough out here. It's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having Shout me. Shout out to Women's Empowerment. Shout out to Women's Empowerment. All you women rock. You're beautiful. Don't let nobody tell you different. Watch what you say. Watch what you think. Manifestations are real. Absolutely. Be your best. Do your best. Go own everything. Words of wisdom from Aziana. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Fun. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Aziana. I'm over here checking in at Women's Empowerment. It's the 25th anniversary here in Raleigh, North Carolina.